dissatisfied with your life is actually a superpower. And I'm not just saying this to make a feel good video or something like that. There's actual evidence to you and I'm gonna present that in this video. If you guys are familiar with Batman origin story, if you've read the comics, seen the movies, you know that his background was not the best. He came from a pretty bad situation, but he used that as motivation. He used that as fuel. It's actually better if, if you really wanna be successful, it's better to have a bad situation because if you talk to people that you know that have achieved something you would like to achieve yourself, what you often find is that there's some kind of variation on the Batman story, origin story, you know, if you ask them like how, how they got there, right? It's almost never like, oh, everything was great and I just wanted this. And the thing about it is that negative motivators are so much more powerful than positive motivators. That is the reality. So it might be nice to say like, oh, I just really want this thing. The problem for a lot of people is they want the thing, but they don't need the thing. So it's so much easier to be motivated, right? If, if you need to make money, for example, it's easier to be motivated if you're like, hey, I got to make this money or I'm going to starve to death, <laughs> right? Or my family's going to starve to death. If you have a, an entire family you have to provide for and take care of. Versus like, oh yeah, I want to make an extra $5,000 this year. And even though I'm making like six figures, I want a bit of a pay raise, right? Um, I'm living a comfortable life. Uh, have all the amenities, have a nice house, a nice car and stuff, but I wanna make more money. You know, for a lot of you guys that are learning cybersecurity, you might be in various backgrounds. So you might be in a background where your life's really good, you're working a job maybe at like a bank or something like that, and you're, you're making okay money, and you're comfortably uncomfortable perhaps. And you're like, oh, I really wanna learn cybersecurity, I really wanna get into that, but you might not be uncomfortable enough. Now, if you're on the opposite side where your life sucks and uh, you hate your situation, then there's no question that you need to make a change. And so it's very easy to look at other people, especially online and, and see highlights, right? Like you guys watch my videos and you might have a certain perception of like, oh, his life is always easy, this and that, or whatever creator, whatever person you know, understand that you're seeing the highlights. So that wasn't always the case for me. You know, you see me here in Bangkok, Thailand. You know, if you watched the previous video, you might've seen my journey to get here. If you haven't, Go ahead and check out that video. I'll link it in the end cards afterwards. But yeah, it wasn't always so so easy. I mean, very recently, before I, I left my job to uh, pursue Elevate Cyber full time and to move out here, there was a bunch of bad situations that motivated me to do that. And without those bad situations, 100%, I would not be here. Because a couple of years ago, my work situation was perfect, like I said in that video. And I at those times, when times were really good, I didn't even consider leaving that job or doing this. I knew that, okay, at some point I want to do this, but I didn't have a timeline. I didn't really have like clear goals on how or when that was going to happen. It wasn't until I started to get into a bad situation that I started taking things more seriously. So negative motivators are so much more powerful than positive motivators. So this is why it is a superpower if you hate your life right now, especially, or if you just are dissatisfied or generally unhappy with your life, Use that as fuel, but you must reframe these negative situations. I will tell you for a fact that all the biggest leaps forward that I've made in my life came right before very bad situations when, you know, life kind of sucked, you know? So basically in my job, right, eventually things turned south. They were mandating everyone to return to office and things like that. And also they brought up my YouTube channel, interrogated me for one hour on a call. I don't want to go down that rabbit hole right now. Perhaps I'll cover it in a later video, but you know, needless to say, that was a, a negative event that really helped kind of motivate me, push me out of the whole golden handcuffs situation that I was in. Because how many people that you know, and maybe this is yourself, where you are comfortably uncomfortable, right? You wanna make changes in your life, but your life's good enough. It, it's, it's not bad enough to push you over the action threshold to get you to do the things that would actually lead to the life that you want. So if you don't have that, if you don't have those golden handcuffs, that is a superpower because there's no question that you need to change. You need to make these changes. So use that, use that as fuel. Don't feel sorry for yourself. You can feel sorry for yourself after you've already achieved the thing. Then you can go and look back on it and reminisce on feeling sorry for yourself, but save that for later. For right now, use the superpower that you have to motivate you to take the necessary steps to change your situation. My dad, for example, he is an immigrant from Bangladesh. And when he first came here, he worked at a convenience store company. He started out as a clerk, worked his way up the company, 
different times back then, right? You worked for one company your whole life. But when he was a sales clerk, he would, I think he said like five or six times, he had people come and draw a gun on him to rob the register, right? And he was working full time while going to college full time. And the reason he was doing that is his dad told him, hey, I will pay for your college as long as you live in the dorms. If you don't wanna live in the dorms, you gotta pay your own college. And then one year he moved into an apartment with his friend and all of a sudden his dad stopped sending him money and he like contacted his dad. He's like, oh no, you don't understand son. I told you, if you leave the dorms, I'm not paying for anything. So he was working full time, going to school full time, very negative event, getting guns drawn on him, very negative events. These were motivators. He, he has to make it, he has to, it's either that or, I mean, what is the alternative in that scenario, right? Needless to say, he made it. <laughs> Needless to say, he ended up doing pretty well for himself. But I don't know, could he achieve that same level of success if it was all positive and it's just like, well, I don't have to do this, but I wanted to do this. I, I wanted to do better. I wanted to, you know, climb up the company or whatever, make more money, be more self-sufficient. I don't know, maybe, but <laughs> it's a different kind of motivation. I mean, have those positive motivators for sure. Have like ambition and stuff. But all I'm saying is that <laughs> In the absence of that, when push comes to shove, if you have negative motivators, that's gonna be so much more powerful than these positive motivators that you hear people talking about, right? Because the golden handcuffs is real. And hey, don't take my word for it either, right? You might be watching this video. You might be like, okay, he's speaking confidently. I trust this guy, whatever. Don't even trust me on this, okay? What I want you to do is go and talk to the people that have achieved something that you would consider noteworthy, right? something maybe that you would want to achieve yourself and ask them, what was their origin story? What was not just the highlights, but what was the journey to get there? And also, if you don't have access to them, then see if you can find any videos or any information online where they're sharing that story. And I can almost guarantee you, there's some variation of the Batman story behind that. So yeah, don't take my word for it. Do some research for yourself. And uh, yeah, if you want to get out of the early scenes, let's say, of your own Batman origin story, and learn cybersecurity and break into this field, send me a DM to my Instagram at Elevate Cyber with the word Batman. So I know you came from this video. And yeah, let's get you on the path. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. If you wanna check out how I made it here to Bangkok, Thailand, kind of like what my origin little journey was, and I'll take you along with it in that video. Check out the video on screen right now. I'll see you guys there.